Saul and the Sorcerer. Jesus' disciples passionately spread the gospel, and thankfully, a church was formed in a place called Antioch. The Antioch church was the first church in history to be called Christian. They must have always been praying, thinking what they should do for the kingdom of God. This is what God said to the Antioch church. I want your church to send your people to spread the gospel. To abide by God's word, the Antioch church sent two people, Barnabas and Saul. It would be like sending missionaries to a non-Christian country today. Barnabas and Saul, on their mission trip, arrived in Cyprus with a man named John. The proconsul of the island was a man named Sergius Paulus. He heard that Barnabas and Saul were spreading words about Jesus in their Jewish synagogue, so he called for Barnabas and Saul, thinking of kicking them out of the island if they were spreading weird stories. However, Sergius Paulus gradually fell in love with Barnabas and Saul's story about Jesus, so he listened to their preaching for a long time. But there was a sorcerer named Bar-Jesus, who didn't like the sight of this. He used all sorts of deceit and trickery. The sorcerer tried to stop Sergius Paulus from believing in Jesus, so he said this to him, Don't believe it! The story about Jesus and crucifixion is all fake! Then Saul said to the sorcerer, You are full of all kinds of deceit and trickery. Will you never stop perverting the right ways of the Lord? You are going to be blind for a time, not even be able to see the light of the sun. Then fog and darkness really did swallow him up. The magician became blind. The proconsul was shocked to see this and ended up believing in Jesus. In fact, Saul used to think that he had a lot of knowledge and knew a lot about God in the past. He used to think that what he thought and saw was always the right answer. So Saul was always the leader in imprisoning and killing people who believed in Jesus. Then the Saul met Jesus and for a few days he couldn't see. That's when he realized that everything he had thought was the right answer was all wrong and that what he sees with his eyes is not always everything. So that's why Saul told the sorcerer that he wouldn't be able to see for a while. Saul thought that it would be good for the sorcerer, who doesn't believe in Jesus, to be blind for a while so that he can see Jesus in his blindness just as Saul did. Let's close our eyes for a minute. Let's think back on everything that we thought was the right answer. Let's think about what we really should have been seeing and let's pray for that. And in our prayers, God will help us to be able to see what we haven't been able to see and make us realize what we have never been able to realize before.